Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today I have a nice meal day for you. Short meal, just one envelope, but it's filled with Italian goodies because this is from Arcana Distribution in Trieste, Italy. And um, yeah, it's it has some nice cards. There are some nice cards in here that I want to show you. They're all Italian. And I think buying Italian cards is kind of a nice way to to budgetize a little bit. You know, prices have been going through the roof and I think it's probably now the best time actually not to buy anything. But if you want to buy something, I would just take it easy, you know, get the cards you really want to get. Uh, try to trade, you know, trading is always a nice way. Uh, but of course you do have to have some cards if you want to trade. I'm gonna open this. These are Italian cards and I'm working on a new silly deck around Gravity Sphere. And Gravity Sphere is another card that has really been ticking up in value, unfortunately. Um, and that's kind of what I dislike about these price differences and this whole crazy MTG finance situation that we're all in at the moment uh, when you're an old school player is that I love brewing crazy little decks, not good decks, just crazy decks where you can do something cool. And you know, those decks I feel should always kind of be affordable. But now we're finding ourselves in a situation where even those decks are becoming, um, you know, very difficult to build because it's just so expensive. Um, okay, so here we go. It's nicely packed, by the way, bubble envelope and this protection. So I like that. And you know, some people say, I'm, I'm, I'm based here in Amsterdam. Some people say, oh, if you order from Italy, it's you can't trust it, it takes forever. It does take some time, I admit that, but it almost always arrives, it always arrives in one piece. And you know, the advice that I can give people who are a little bit skeptical about it is just try to place a small order, try to see uh, what seller is really good with sending the goods and what seller isn't. Uh, because I just have a lot of great sellers from Italy. So here we go. Oh man, how do I pronounce this? Tapeto Volante, Flying Carpet. So Flying Carpet is four, originally from the Arabian Nights. But this is the, um, actually the revised edition. So what happened is when in Italy, okay, there's construction upstairs. So you're probably hearing some drilling right now. It's pretty annoying. Okay, drilling has stopped. Uh, what I wanted to say is this is foreign black bordered. And when Revice was first released in Italy, they gave it a black border because the black border rule is um, if a card gets printed for the first time, it gets a black border. If it's a reprint, it gets a white border. For example, Unlimited was a reprint, so it was a white border. So it was Revised, so it was fourth edition. But Ice Age, all those cards were printed for the first time, so Ice Age cards have a white border now, uh, sorry, a black border. Now the unique thing here is this is the first time this card was printed in the Italian language, hence the black border, but you don't see an Arabian Nights symbol because it's actually printed in the revised set. Now I've got a little combo with this. I'm looking forward to show you. There are actually quite a lot of cards here. You know what, let's first see what's in here. I think these cards are just there for protection, but let's have a look. Yeah, so these are just cards for protection. And okay, so we see flying carpet number one. We see flying carpet number two. By the way, if you don't know what it does, two and tap and you give target creature flying. So we've got two of these. Then I wanna give my earth elementals flying, right? So we've got four, oh, three of these. I wanna give my fire elementals flying. So we've got three of these as well. And let me just put them here, oh, beautiful art. Elementale del fuoco. Evoca elementale. Man, I'm getting hungry when I when I try to pronounce Italian. Good. So we've got these. Then we've got two Orcish Aura Flames. These two Orcish Aura Flames belong to a different deck. You know, Orcish Aura Flame a card. All your attacking creatures get plus one plus oh. This is gonna go in my Cobalt deck. So this is for another project. So I'm just gonna put it here on the left. Out of the screen, it's another project. Okay, so we've got this one, I'm expecting, yeah, so just cards to protect the old school cards. 
And let's flip it around. Okay, and here we see another card. This is also for my Cobalt deck. Howl from Beyond and two Howl from Beyond. Raise Dead. Raise Dead. Ah, and this is the card I want to talk about. This is um, El Abra's Carpet. And of course, this is the Italian version. And uh, what you can do, you cast it for five, five and tap. And you prevent all the damage done to you by non-flying creatures. So there's a little combo that I'm working on. And this is going to go in the Flying Carpet deck. So I've got two of these. Really cool art, by the way. Very playful. And I believe this this has got to be Kaya Foglio, right? Yeah, Kaya Foglio. Actually, you see her name here as well. Such a beautiful card. Look at that art. And also the colors of Italian legends. They're just so vivid. I think by now, when I'm actually publishing this on YouTube, this card will probably have spiked as well, unfortunately. I hope not. But what I've basically done is uh, I just had this idea of building this deck together with this and the third component I'm going to show you in a moment. But I had this idea... Then I started to look at the prices and I almost fainted, uh, you know, because the prices are just insane. I'm not going to pay, I don't know what, for an Arabian Nights flying carpet. I'm just not going to do that. So I was looking for alternatives. And then I ended up in, Ital in, in the Italian versions, which were still pretty affordable. And I thought, okay, let's make it an Italian-themed deck. So that's what I'm kind of going for now. Um so let's see if I got some more components for you to show. Oh, yeah, yeah. So this is part of it as well. Of course, this is the Wall of Stones. So we got some Wall of Stones. Even more Wall of Stones. And we've got three Juggernauts and another um, Howl from Beyond. They're actually part of the other project because I'm also working on, um, on a Kobolds deck. So these are going to go in my Italian Kobolds deck. I know I've got too many projects. Stop laughing at me. I just have a few projects. Let me know in the comments below, by the way, if you have a deck project. Now, these are all the cards, and I'm actually a little bit bummed because there is one card that's super important. I guess it still has to come by mail, and that is this card, Gravity Sphere. And what I've done, I've ordered Italian Gravity Spheres. At the time of my order, they were still pretty cheap, uh, I guess, for the current market. Um, there, and this Gravity Sphere, if you want to get an English version like this of Gravity Sphere, it's just ridiculously expensive. I would not do it. That's my opinion. Of course, you're free to, to make your own choices. I am not going to buy an English Gravity Sphere for 100 euros. I'm just not going to do it. Maybe the price has even gone up by the time this, this video goes online. Remember, I'm not a finance channel. I'm just not going to do it. I just want to build a fun tier three, tier four, tier five deck that I can play in a pub and have a beer. I'm not going to do that, okay? But I do think it's a cool card with cool art. Uh, one red and two for an enchant world. All creatures lose their flying ability, right? So what I thought, if all creatures don't have flying anymore, when I have this card, El Abra's Carpet, I can pay five and tap and I can put myself on a flying carpet and it cannot take any damage from ground creatures. Do you get the combo? And the cool thing is what you can still do with Gravity Sphere on the board is you can still give your creatures flying. They lose their flying ability, right? But I can still give them flying with my flying carpet. So I can give flying to my Earth Elemental and I can beat you up with my flying Earth Elemental or my flying Fire Elemental. Now, I just thought... That idea, I just, I still think that is so, so funny. So I decided, you know what? I'm just going to get these cards in Italian and I'm going to try to build this deck. And I'm really looking forward to building it. If you want to steal my idea and build it as well, please go ahead. Let me know how it goes, how it works out. Maybe you've splashed a color in there next to red. I don't know. Let me know. Uh, but I just find the whole thing very comical. So that's definitely something that I'm going for. And also my wall of stone becomes a lot better when I've got my Gravity Sphere online. Now, um, this is the English one. I'm still waiting for the Italian version. So I guess I, I have to be patient. Uh, I've ordered three Gravity Spheres Italian, so they should be in the mail. This is it. This is the mail day for today. So I just want to take another nice look at this beautiful art. 
What a great card. I believe it's also on the reserved list, not reprinted, but yeah, that would be my advice. If, if you have the option to just get the Italian cards, if you don't mind, I know some people really don't want to play with foreign cards. Um, I'm not one of them. I really like the foreign cards, especially the Italian ones because of the color. Um, okay, so this is it for today. This is the mail day. I would like to thank you for watching another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And um, yeah, leave a comment. Tell me what you think of my crazy deck idea. Uh, if you're working on a crazy deck, let me know. And also, if you want to help the channel out, you can leave a like, you can leave a comment, you can become a sub if you're not a sub yet. You can share this on your socials and you can also become a sponsor of the show so you can help me to continue making the old school content, you know, help the Tim make the old school content. Um, and you can do that by becoming a patron on Patreon. So there's probably a card popping up right now. Click on that card, take that takes you to the Patreon page. And there you can find all the details. Talking about that, let's go to the end scroll and let's take a look at the fantastic, amazing patrons and channel members of Timmy Talks. Somebody can see.